morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Janine May is sharing more details about her life-threatening health scare. Back in November, the 43-year-old co-host of The Real abruptly exited Dancing with the Stars due to health concerns. Now, ET News is exclusively premiering the all-new episode of Hello Honey, in which May is joined by her former pro-partner, Brandon Armstrong, to discuss everything that happened in the days leading up to her emergency throat surgery. Ariel's back, bitch. She found her voice. May jokes at the beginning of the episode, referencing the Little Mermaid. Some of you may have heard that I recently got really sick. I saw a doctor who correctly diagnosed me and saved me from possibly losing my ability to breathe. I'm going to be honest with you. Even when I was diagnosed, I did not take it seriously. I was not focused on saving my life. I was focused on competing and dancing with the stars. I'm going to keep it trill. We really thought we could take that mirror ball. I got sick, but it was just what I thought, a sore throat. That morning I felt my, felt my sore throat and I went to her with Brandon at seven in the morning and I was very tired and I had a long day of shooting after that. I went from Brandon's rehearsal then to a long shoot and was freezing cold where the illness I had quickly caught on and got worse because I was sitting under an air conditioning vent that just got me freezing cold and made me plummet into actually getting sick. May says she woke up with a heavy sore throat the following day and called Brandon to cancel their practice for the first time all season. She then went to see a doctor who misdiagnosed her, shot her up with steroids and told her she just had a simple sore throat. The next day, of course, I stayed consistent and rescheduled the rehearsal with Brandon. I was almost dying in that room, but I didn't know it at the time because I was pushing through and hyped up on steroids. After feeling continued pain for the next few days, May consulted Brandon on what to do. From his own experience, the pro dancer advised May not to take any more steroid shots. He previously got a steroid shot in order to perform when he was experiencing pain in his Achilles, but ended up tearing the tendon because he couldn't feel anything. What I was dancing with was a numb neck because I couldn't feel anything and it was really closing up. My throat was 60% closed. It was numb, but it was closed. After I went home, I wrote a letter to my fiancé, Yeezy, and said, Hey, I'm going to go to bed at like 9.30. I feel terrible. Please pray for me because I think that if I don't make it through this, I don't know if I'm going to make it through camera blocking. May says she woke up the next day around 5am and could not breathe. I was literally grasping for air, she recalls. I don't want to wake up Jay, so I crawled out of bed. I go and grab some aspirin to reduce the swelling. The aspirin sticks in in the back of my tongue and doesn't go down because there's no hole. That's when Yeezy rushed her to urgent care. She was misdiagnosed a second time and was about to go through with dancing on the show until a friend called and said she was going to the wrong type of doctor. Her pal suggested she go to an ear, nose and throat doctor instead. I obliged because of Jay, went there and find out that my throat was going to close in the next few hours, May reveals. I called Brandon. I was so upset, was absolutely enraged in tears like, they're making me do this. I'm so sorry. Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.